The Honourable Member from Durham. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'd like to thank the member from Saskatoon West for her speech. But at times, there are speeches uh, in this place that uh, are passionate but are also bordering on absurd, you know, Mr. Speaker. I heard terms in her speech of destruction, dismantling of rights. But you'll notice she did not actually go into the specifics of the content of those bills. So, M Madam Speaker, a C-525 is a secret ballot. Is that, is that a destructive right, Madam Speaker? In fact, Canadians have enjoyed that since 1874. That's a right, M Madam Speaker. The second bill, 377, deals with disclosure. The Access to Information Act was brought to this House in 1983 by Pierre Trudeau. Her province had the same legislation in 1991. Politicians on all levels expect, and it's on my website, if people pay taxes or anything by compulsion like union dues, they should be able to know easily where it goes. Politicians, charities. She used to run the United Way, Madam Speaker. That's, I can check what they spent online. These are reasonable measures, and it's 2016, Madam Speaker. Why is the only section of Canadian society resisting disclosure the labour movement? Honourable député de Louis Saint Laurent. Uh, thank you. For oh, sorry. Uh, that. The honourable member from Saskatoon. Sorry, yes, sorry. Not, not sorry not Madam Speaker. Argument. Thank you uh, for the question. Um, I think there are some things I would like to clarify, uh, specifically around uh, the fact that there are many organizations, private organizations, for-profit organizations, who receive government credit, government grants, who do not have the same type of reporting uh, requirements that this bill was requesting of unions, which That's is right. why the reason we say, and rightfully so, and we're going to disagree about this obviously, that it was attack on a particular group. And it did go in line with all the other attacks on all the other groups, including charities, where the previous government worked uh, behind the scenes in order to have audits done on those charities mm -hmm. that disagreed with them, which is why I made the comment is that you need to look at this in its totality. The other thing I'd like to mention is that although you like to talk about a secret vote as being sort of a principle of Bill C-525, you need to know that in that bill, one of the secret votes was if you weren't there, somehow it secretly voted for you against the certification of the union. So the fact that you weren't there and you didn't vote, it was a secret to you that you had voted no. So it was just absurd.